Hey there, welcome to TerraCosmos. Today, we're going to talk about a really exciting topic in astronomy, exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars outside of our own solar system, and they've captured the imagination of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. So, what are exoplanets, and how do we find them? Well, let's start with the basics. In our own solar system, we have eight planets that orbit around the sun, but there are billions of other stars out there in the galaxy, and many of them likely have their own planets. The first exoplanet was discovered back in 1995, and since then, astronomers have found thousands more. But how do they do it? Well, there are a few different methods that astronomers use to detect exoplanets. One common method is called the transit method. This involves looking for tiny dips in a star's brightness as a planet passes in front of it. This can tell us a lot about the planet's size and orbit. Another method is the radial velocity method, which looks for small changes in a star's movement caused by the gravitational pull of a nearby planet. By measuring these changes, astronomers can infer the planet's mass and orbit. There are also more advanced methods like direct imaging, which involves using powerful telescopes to actually take pictures of exoplanets. This is incredibly difficult to do, since exoplanets are usually much smaller and dimmer than the stars they orbit. So why are exoplanets so exciting? Well, for one thing, they offer us a glimpse into the incredible diversity of planets that exist in the universe. We found exoplanets that are many times larger than Jupiter, as well as ones that are smaller than Earth. We found exoplanets that orbit their stars in just a few hours, and ones that take hundreds or even thousands of years to complete a single orbit. But perhaps even more exciting is the possibility that some of these exoplanets could be habitable. That is, they could have the right conditions to support life as we know it. For example, scientists have found exoplanets that are located within their star's habitable zone that is, the range of distances from the star, where liquid water could exist on the planet's surface. Of course, just because a planet is located in the habitable zone doesn't mean that it actually has life on it. But the discovery of exoplanets has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for the search for extraterrestrial life. So, that's a brief overview of what exoplanets are and how we find them. It's an incredibly exciting field of study, and one that is sure to continue to yield new discoveries for years to come. Thanks for watching, and keep looking up.